So let's see some of the samples here. What are you actually producing here? Well, if they say a picture is worth a thousand words, then probably a sample is worth a million. Right. The, um, uh, the our technology usually starts out with a piece of ceramic, and in your tour, uh, you've seen some of these actually in production. The ceramic is either 96% alumina, or in, in the case of uh, our high power chips, we've been mm -hmm. using aluminum nitride, which is a, a, a much more thermally conductive material. And what we do with our screening process is we take the plates themselves and we screen patterns onto them of conductor and then resistor. And uh, in the older form of manufacturing, we used to turn them into strips in order to be able to uh, create the wraparound chips. And we would wax those strips down to pieces of glass. But the difficulty for production uh, was that we were only carrying a strip of chips around for all the operations. So uh, later we were able to be able to manufacture them in plate form, doing some kind of unique and proprietary processes in order to uh, make that happen. But from those materials then we're able to produce various products um, from very very tiny ones. This um, this is actually the, uh, I put them in a salt shaker because they make a perfect example to show how small they are. These are the chips that IMS uh, uh, was strengthened and founded on. Um, these chips uh, originally went into um, watches, the Timex watch and the Pulsar and the Bolivar watch. Mm -hmm. Had two of our chips in every single watch that was made. We were literally shipping millions of these chips a year out to our customers. And they were very tiny, very small little chips that um, we could manufacture um, using uh, laser techniques uh, much faster and much higher quality than our uh, competitors were. And in that chip are all of the parts of the larger chip resistor as well. It's easy to understand if I was to take the model. Mm -hmm. um, if the base material is a piece of ceramic mm -hmm. that's diced into tiny little chips like this, uh, then we will screen on some conductors and fire them and screen on a resistor body and the green would be a depiction of the passivation glass mm -hmm. uh, that protects the surface. Then we'll go in and do a laser trim and tweak it to value while we actually probe, put little tiny probes down in, on the terminals on those chips. If the customer wants to put them in a circuit face up, then we add what's called a wraparound uh, termination to the chip, and we do that in a proprietary way now. So the customer could solder to the, to the back side, and the chip would sit in his circuit so he could actually do active trimming and other things to the chips as well. So our chips have variations in size and variations in type. Um, I've brought some different samples that might be of interest. That's a, a very complicated attenuator. Uh, that uh, actually has three resistors on it uh, that does uh, attenuation at what it's surface mountable. The customer puts them down on his uh, uh, circuit board. This is a smaller version of the same. Uh, this one, the uh, two of the resistors are infinity, and in this case, it's a slightly different value depending on the decibel value the customer wants. These are the end product of, of the work with the aluminum nitride and some of the chips that we've done uh, for high thermal applications in aluminum nitride. And this, uh, we were actually uh, named Ingenious Product of the Year for our Thermabridge. Mm -hmm. And that's a, a sample of one of them. And that particular product, uh, this is a, um, uh, an array of samples mm -hmm. of the Thermabridge and Thermaplane products of all different sizes. That's the actual chip itself. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're uh, able to manage thermal conditions within their circuits by using our passive chip no fans, no batteries, uh, just drop our chip in. And uh, we are the first people in the world to create one of those. Um, some of the chips are a little smaller. Um, some of them are quite large. These are complex filters. We're using our, our uh, unique technology going into a niche market and creating a uh, high frequency filter. Um, this is a, a slightly larger chip that can handle 250 watts of power, huge amount of power. Uh, th uh, for that chip. And this is one of our larger aluminum nitride uh, uh, attenuators that can handle also extremely high power. And then of course the sample of some small chips. Now these look small and this uh, IMS made millions of these chips for the years and we still make them today. But these are not our smallest chip. Our smallest chip is our actually our IMS 7. Believe it or not there are 300 pieces in there and that chip uh, is even tinier. It's only 25 one thousandths by 30 one thousandths by 10 one thousandths, but yet it has all of the uh, parts that uh, we demonstrated that the chip has. 
And then I brought in some samples that we use in our show booth to uh, uh, when we display to our customers of various products, our attenuators, our filters, including Wilkinson dividers and other dividers, our thermal products for high frequency and other applications, our alumina thermal products, and then our thermal bridge. And that kind of gives us an example. We always bring a magnifying glass because when we, have to use it. When, when, we, when we want to show it to our customers, they always need the uh, magnifying glass to see what's in there. Yeah. And that helps us. We, uh, we actually do most of our work, which you've seen on the tour, using binocular-style microscopes. Uh, so the uh, inspectors and the uh, employees on the floor can uh, see exactly the size of the chip and do all the inspections. So I hope this has uh, given us a bit of an explanation of tour, yeah. where we're going and where we are. Great. Thank you.